Hey everyone, welcome to my garden, and today I want to talk about how to grow paprika pepper from seed. This is a ferrozon pepper, and it's uh, should be sweet and sweet in flavor. Once you the pepper gets to full maturity and you pick it, you could dry it out and crush it up, and then that that's what becomes paprika powder. So that's pretty neat. As you see here, the the true leaves are just forming. They're starting to come up. And this plant is only 12 days old. I planted it from seed on the 19th of March. Today is March 30th. And as you see here, it's looking nice and healthy. And I'm growing this using the, a double cup method, which is basically consists of two cups one that's filled with your grow media and the seedling and it has the holes on the bottom so water could wick its way up to the plant and the other one is just a solid cup with no holes this way it could hold the nutrients and the water and then you just pour it in a little bit and it will drink its way up as you see here the moisture level is pretty good and you could even see that it's like pretty wet inside so that's a good way to know when it's time to water and you you actually physically feel that it's pretty heavy when it absorbs all the water and if you're wondering what's all this on the top this is actually cocoa core that I'm growing with uh, I'm sorry the cocoa core that I'm growing it in and I actually opted out from using Rockwell cubes this is what I used to use for all my grows now, no, I don't use this any longer because this is basically just like expanded rock that's been heated at a very high temperature and spun into like a fine little material base and then turn into like this little cubes that absorb water and hold moisture in very well. It actually it grows quite well, but unfortunately with those, you're not able to, you know, like recycle those or they won't naturally break down in the earth. So unfortunately you can't compost it or do anything with it. It's just gonna be more added waste to the earth that's not needed. And this is 100% coconut fiber that's basically been crushed up and pressed into a, like a hard material. And once uh, you soak it in water, it absorbs into this nice soft, fluffy almost dirt like but a little bit different and I really enjoy using this now as opposed to Rockwell cubes because when you used to when I used to use the Rockwell cubes it's it didn't exactly feel like gardening but then when you will come in here and then you want to you want to take a new plant so you take a cup and you grab some soil you get that playing in the dirt feeling that I was missing out on from outdoors so it's it's a nice way to bring the outdoors inside basically and what the nice thing that i didn't mention about the coco core is it's actually ph balanced so it's it will absorb the whatever nutrients or water you're putting it into it will wick its way up really really well to the plant and it's very very soft and airy so the roots can actually physically move through it quite well without any complications I'll show you an example of what I mean here. If we look over to this plant right here, this is a straight neck squash plant. And basically, also same thing in a double cup method. And if you look on the bottom, you could see beautiful roots poking out the holes that I cut on the sides. And that's what you want. So once this plant gets a little bit bigger, I'll be able to trans transplant it into one of these hydroponic Kratky systems as you see up here nice beautiful beautiful plants and it's just simply a net cup that's placed in a container and you can see inside nice healthy white roots and this is a nice example of how you grow beautiful 
heads of lettuce indoors. You see here, maybe let me just munch on that a little bit. And coming back to here. Sorry, we diverged a little bit. So back to the pepper plant. As you hear, this plant is basically 12 days old and it's developed a nice, beautiful purple stem. It's really quite pretty and it's it's smooth. A lot of pepper plants, they will be like nice and hard or like furry, like tomato plants get. But this one's nice and smooth. I really like this plant so far. And that's basically what I got going on so far. And if you liked what you see or have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll do my best to answer everything. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.